Hey, what's going on guys? In this video series, we're gonna build a simple coronavirus tracker app. Let's quickly walk through the app. It shows all confirmed cases around the globe. It also shows the top 5 most affected countries. If we click on one of them, we get more detailed information. We can also search for a particular country on the list. And if we click on one of them, we also get detailed information about cases in this country. In the menu, we have a about page where we can check the current build version, send feedback and check the privacy policy. In part one of the video series, we're gonna start building the app interface, so let's begin. Let's have a quick look at the project. In build.gradle file, I added volley, JSON, material design libraries. I also have here lifecycle extensions, version 2.20 and the preferences library. I also have a variable version name that we're gonna use later to display the app version on the about page. And also I enabled the data binding and Java 8. In strings.xml I've added a bunch of strings that I'm gonna use in the project. In styles.xml I've just changed some colors. In colors.xml I just have the colors that I use in the project. Now let's create a few packages in the project. The first one we're gonna name activities. The second one DTO. Let's move main activity to the activity package. Now let's start working on the interface, but first let's create a menu for our bottom navigation. Let's name it nav menu. We're gonna have here two menu items. The first one is gonna have ID global. Title global and icon. The second one is going to have ID countries, title countries, and also an icon. Now let's move back to main activity and let's start working on our interface. Let's add the layout tag and change constraint layout to relative layout. Let's delete the text to and add the frame layout. Width and height match parent. And give it ID container. Now we're gonna add a bottom navigation view with match parent and hide wrap content. Let's give an ID bottom navigation. Let's align it to the bottom. Change background color to the primary color. Item text color is gonna be white. And item icon tint is gonna be white as well. Now let's link the nav menu to the view. Now let's put the frame layout above the bottom navigation view. Now we have to create a fragment. Let's call it summary fragment. And exclude the factory methods. Now 
Let's move to the fragment layout and add a layout tag. Let's also remove the text view. Now we're going to change the frame layout to nested scroll view. Now let's add a linear layout with match parent, height, wrap content. Orientation vertical. It's going to have a padding 16 dp. Let's add a text to you. The style of the view is going to be headline 5. The text color is going to be white. And text is going to be global. Now we're going to add a card view. It's going to have a top margin of 16 dp. The background is going to be the primary color. Inside of the card view, we're going to have another linear layout with and hide match parent. Orientation vertical. Padding is 22 dp. Inside of the linear layout, let's add another text view. Let's change the style to headline 6. Text color white. Let's also capitalize the letters. The text is confirmed. Now we have to add a relative layout. Now we're going to add a text view inside of the relative layout. And give an idea total confirmed cases. Let's change the style to headline 4. Let's also change the text color to FF7269. And capitalize the letters. Let's add some text for now to see how it looks like. Now we're going to have another text to you and change its style to headline 6. Text color B2, B3, BD. Let's also capitalize the letters. Let's align the text view to the end of the first text view. Now add a 12 dp margin to the left side of the text view. 
And also let's add some text for now to see how it looks like. Now let's add a bottom margin of 12 dp to the relative layout. And lastly, vertically center the second text view. Now let's copy everything. The ID is gonna be a total recovered cases. Let's change color to 43db78. Let's copy paste it one more time. Change ID to total death cases. And change the text color to white. Now let's change the title to Deaths. And the second title to Recovered. Now we're gonna add another text to you at the bottom. Let's change the style of it. Text color is going to be white. Let's add a top margin of 22 dp and a bottom margin of 16 dp. Now let's add the text, top 5 most affected countries. Now we need to add a recycle view, with much parent, height wrap content. Let's give an ID recycle view. Now let's add a bottom margin of 22 dp. Over scroll mode never. That's it for the fragment. Now we're going to create another fragment. Let's name it Countries Fragment. Let's also exclude the factory methods. We need here a layout tag as well. Let's also delete the text view and add recycle view instead. With much parent height wrap content. ID recycle view. Let's add a margin of 12 dp. Now let's move to the main activity. Here we're going to create activity main binding variable. Then set content view using data binding utils.
Then we're gonna add the summary fragment to our frame layout. Begin transaction. Replace. The first parameter is the frame layout ID. The second one is the summary fragment. Let's add it to the back stack. Now we're going to check what element is clicked in the navigation view and replace fragments respectively. In the lambda function we need to return true. So let's get item ID. If it equals global, then let's create an instance of summary fragment. Otherwise, let's create an instance of country fragment. Now let's replace the current fragment with the selected one. Now let's test it out. This is all for the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video.